Hey there! So this is my November favorites. I know it's a little bit late, like maybe a week late, but it's not super, super, super bad. But um, I have not filmed a favorites video for quite some time. I feel like the last favorites video I filmed was in the beginning of the year, which like looking back now, it's kind of like, I think it was my March favorites. So that's kind of, kind of a long time ago. And I apologize. Do you hear my voice? It's kind of going in and out because I'm kind of slowly getting over a cold, but it's still there and I hate it, but please bear with me. I apologize for sounding all nasally and gross, but um, yeah, I have not filmed a video for a long time. The last video I filmed was at least a couple of months ago, so I apologize for that even though I've, you know, mentioned that I was going to try and be more diligent in filming more often, especially since I miss, um, you know, filming videos for you guys on a frequent basis and you know, I have a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to share with you guys and I just haven't made the time to do so. So I'm going to try and, you know, organize my schedule a little bit better so I can get those videos out for you. But anyways, um, this is my November favorites, like I mentioned. Um, I'm going to be doing this favorites video in collaboration with my friend, uh, Jake. Uh, he just recently started his YouTube channel not too long ago, so I'll have um, his channel information linked down in the video description. Um, so we both did a November favorites, and so um, after you check out, after you watch mine, you can go check out his and see his favorites as well. But anyways, going into the favorites, the first thing I have is a skincare product. Um, it is the Biore Free Your Pores Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser, and I don't, as you can see, there is like absolutely like none left. There's just like a few like specks left at the bottom. I love how it just kind of makes your face feel like really 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 clean. Um, it's a charcoal cleanser so the charcoal does help to pull out all the impurities and the dirt and all that bad stuff so I've been really loving that. And another kind of skincare related um, product that I've been loving is the Pond's Original Fresh Wet Cleansing Towelettes and you know these are just you know like those wipes to wipe off your makeup and whatnot, but I really like these. I've tried so many different kinds of these type of moist uh, makeup removing towelettes. Um, for a while, the Neutrogena one was my all-time favorite. I liked the Garnier one for a while too, and then I came across this one, the Pons one, and I fell in love. Like, it just gets all of my makeup off, like, completely, and I, it's very gentle, I, it doesn't sting my eyes, it has kind of like a quilted texture, so it definitely gets everything off, and I'm just so, so happy about this, and I'm actually running low on this too, like, it's almost all gone, so I need to pick up another one of these as well. Um, the next thing that I'm going to share with you guys is a foundation that I've been loving, and I don't know what has taken me so long to find this foundation, but it is the L'Oreal True Match foundation and I don't know like this has been around for such a long time and I don't know why it has taken me until now to finally like discover it but um, I'm in the shade W7 which is a tiny bit dark on me but um, it does have a nice golden undertone so that's what I like about it but it does it does blend very beautifully it, it looks really good on my skin and I just I'm so happy with this foundation so if you guys have not tried the L'Oreal True Match foundation I would highly recommend it it's one of the better drugstore foundations that I've tried I'm using that with the True Match concealer as well and this is not my absolute favorite concealer but it does work pretty okay like it does it does the job so I've been kind of using these in conjunction with each other just because I figured True Match Foundation, True Match Concealer, it'll go together, so those have been working out pretty well from the drugstore, and I've been reaching for those on a more, like, everyday basis, and not so much my higher-end um, foundation. But these are the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers, and I don't know, I guess I've been hiding under a, like, rock or something, but I don't know why I haven't picked up these sooner. These are amazing, like, by far the best concealer that I've ever used ever, ever, ever. Like, I love it more than my Makeup Forever full coverage. I love it more than the Kat Von D concealer. It's just, oh my gosh, amazing. It, one I use for general, like, all around my face, and the other one I use for kind of under eye brightening and whatnot. The only thing, the only downside that I don't like about this, first off, is that it's in like, this glass packaging, which kind of um, scares me, because I feel like it's going to drop and crack and just break all over the place and the second thing is the pump that it has is not very um, friendly like you have to you have to do a full pump every single time you use this 
and not necessarily every single time you, you need that full pump amount. So it's kind of unfortunate and you do kind of waste in that sense. Um, but it's an amazing product. It stays under your eyes, it stays put, it doesn't crease. And I didn't believe people when they said like, oh, it doesn't crease, it doesn't crease, you know what I mean? And it does not crease. Like, you have to take my word for it. Try it out, go test it out at your Mac counter or Mac store. It is phenomenal. Like, I just need to film a video specifically on this because it is like worth singing praises over. But anyways, um, the next uh, product that I'm going to share with you guys for my November favorites is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana and I'm kind of late on this game as well. Um, I know a ton of people have tried this and raved about it and it's been all over YouTube and the beauty scene and especially because you know it's kind of like oh Kim Kardashian uses this or this is what Kim Kardashian uses to achieve her brightened under eye but I love it so 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 much. I'm like where where was I without this? Like I was just using translucent powder, just any old powder that I had to set my under eye. But this is like perfect. Like it just is the perfect under eye setting powder. I use it to set my under eyes. I use it to um, highlight the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. So I really like this. The, the yellow tone is beautiful with my skin tone. It gives the lovely illuminating glow without being kind of white and ashy or kind of um, like powdery looking. So I have been so, so, so in love with that. And uh, I've also been reaching back to using my MAC Studio Fix just kind of as my general face powder. I'm in the shade NC42, which some days looks a little dark on me, but for the most part is a, a perfect color match. And so I, this has just kind of been in my bag and kind of like, if I don't want to do a full, full face, I just get a kabuki brush and just kind of buff it all over and I'm just good to go. And then that'll be my face for the day. But yeah, it's just been pretty easy. It's, it is like a definitely like a full coverage powder foundation, but I haven't had problems with it breaking me out or anything like that. So I've been really liking this just kind of for convenience sake. Um, another thing that I've been so obsessed with is, um, well, like everyone else in the beauty community, this, the acclaimed Kylie Jenner lip, which I've been kind of rocking today. Um, so I do have a combo that I go to, like a MAC lip liner and lipstick combo that is just like my holy grail in terms of achieving that look. And it took me a while to kind of get that like locked down and this is the lip liner I need and this is the lipstick that I need because um, a lot of the ones people recommended on blogs and on other videos was a little bit too light for my skin tone and so I'm going to be having a separate video completely dedicated to my Kylie Jenner inspired lip look. Um, I have um, this combination from MAC and I also have some drugstore combinations as well so um, definitely look out for that video coming out hopefully soon. I'll, I'll I really have been wanting to share these with you guys and kind of um, let you guys know that there are other options besides MAC uh, lip products to achieve the look. Some nail polish favorites that I've been absolutely obsessed with over the past month, even though I have like nothing on my nails right now, I'm in desperate need of doing my nails. Um, the first one is by OPI and it is called Don't Mess With, o Don't Mess with OPI and it is just kind of a uh, toned down jade green shade. I really like it. It's very, it's kind of subtle, but it is kind of a pop of color as well. So I really like this. And then another kind of in the same realm of green is called I Rush Luck by Sally Hansen. And this is the Insta Dry formula. And so that is what it looks like. More of a brighter green in comparison to the OPI one. But I have been loving these a lot lately. Those, I've been really into like the green and especially because we're going into holiday well Christmas is just around the corner but anyways um, I've been so into those green green shades and um, it kind of dawned on me that my birthstone is emerald so it's kind of ironic how I've been so obsessed with these green nail polishes but I've been super 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 obsessed with headbands like I have this one on my head which I have been so in love with this one is from 
uh, Nordstrom and it's this beautiful like oxblood maroon color that I've been obsessed with and it just kind of looks like a wrap but it's more of it's a headband it actually does it ends right over there so it's it's convenient and it just goes on and it looks like you made like a nice tie wrap thing but you didn't have to do that because it's just a headband anyways um, I've also been loving this kind of cream colored one with spikes on top and then I have another spiked one which is more of a uh, elastic type of headband and then I've kind of been wearing like a sportier type of just uh, sweatband type of headband as well so headbands I've been super obsessed with over the past month or so I have a ton more but I just don't want to bore you guys with showing headband 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 anyways, I've been having some snack favorites as well uh, one of them is these snap pea crisps I got these from Costco um, I, so I poured out some in a bowl so I could show you guys they look like this so they're very crunchy and like they're just lightly salted and then I usually pour those out in a bowl like that and then I have them with some baby bell cheeses so these are the mini baby bell cheeses the light one the light one I don't know they're the light one they comes I also got these at Costco it comes in a big pack so usually for a snack I just pour these out and yeah I just get a couple of cheeses and I'm pretty much set and so it's just kind of I don't feel so bad about having like a major major snack and it's not as bad as eating like chips or something like that so I've been really enjoying that um, some other non beauty related favorites I finally I feel like I'm the last person in the world but I finally got a hydro flask and it is orange and it looks a lot more pumpkiny orange in on camera it's a little bit deeper than how it shows up on camera I don't know why it looks so oh there you go that's more of the color but it is um, the Hydro Flask and it is in orange and I like to call it Hermes orange because I think it's very classy but um, I have been obsessed with this and this has been so nice to just carry around and right now I think I have lemonade inside and I love lemonade the Simply Lemonade it's amazing so um, I've been loving this just carrying it around and it's just been kind of nice convenient thing to carry around uh, for every day or going to work and um, just going out shopping and stuff like that too. I've just been carrying this in my larger bags. And aside from that, I also have a song favorite. Let me show you on my phone. So I've been obsessed with the song Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon. I don't know if can you guys see that? Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon. I don't know if it's... yeah, can, I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, I got it when it was a free download on iTunes but I've been obsessed with that song like I could play it over and over and over and over again and it just I can't get sick of it I have yet to get sick of it and it's kind of just like my pumped up like get excited and um, just feel energized type of song so it is kind of like on my workout playlist and stuff like that so I've just been super obsessed with that song if you haven't heard it go on YouTube or something and listen to it uh, shut up and dance by walk the moon um, and then my last kind of non beauty related favorite is these slip-on sandals these are by adidas um i feel like i don't know this the whole sporty trend has been coming off and on over the past couple of seasons but i've been so into these and they're so comfortable and like people make fun of me for wearing these because they're kind of like like what old people would wear you know like comfy like super casual sporty sandals but i've been so obsessed with these and i've been wearing them as often as I can and like get away with it you know um, I go shopping in these I run errands in these I just everything it's just perfect and so comfortable and I feel like I can really like dress it up with more of the sportier edgier type of looks so I've been really loving these and I've also been wearing these with like striped tops like black and white striped tanks or black and white striped t-shirts so these have been working out well with those as well I think that is pretty much it for my November favorites it's probably gonna be a super long video so I apologize but I have not filmed for you guys for a really long time um, as I mentioned before uh, look out for my Kylie Jenner lip inspired uh, I'm not gonna say tutorial but it might be a tutorial or kind of like a different options for or suggestions for combinations that you can use to achieve that look so I'll have a video like that hopefully soon um, I also have picked up a couple of things recently that I've been super obsessed with I don't know see this dust bag it says Celine 
Um, and then I also picked up a pair of shoes by Stuart Weitzman, so hopefully I'll have a haul video soon. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know what this is, but I've just been a little bit naughty and been buying early Christmas presents for myself already, but I'm gonna try and like cut myself off and get back to finishing my Christmas list, but I wanna wish you guys a very happy holiday season. I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. I kind of got a little festive. There's my little Christmas tree and um, Vivian is dressed up a little bit for the holidays and also don't forget to check out Jake's video I'll have that link down in the video description as well or a link to his channel um, so definitely check that out and yeah if you guys have any questions definitely let me know down in the comments or um, I want to know what your guys current favorites are as well because I'm always looking to try new things and looking to just kind of expand my horizon in terms of pretty much anything but yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!